Hello everyone, Melissa Brown and Jennifer Anastasi with Morning. My Social Management doing our vlogs. Uh, for this topic, we're going to talk about QR codes, quick response codes. Um, when it comes to those, it sounds like there's a right way and a wrong way, if you know that. Uh, there is a right way and a wrong way to leverage QR codes. So Jennifer, what's your take on QR codes if people are doing them right? Is there a right way or a wrong way to Well, definitely, definitely so. And there's a right way and a wrong way, so right and so wrong that even my children can recognize now the difference between a good one and a bad one. Okay, so let's start with some of the bad ways. So some of the bad ways. So with the QR code, you want to make sure that it's accessible to the customer to actually be able to snap it with their smartphone. So if you're putting it too high, let's say uh, Subway, we're calling you out. So Subway, when you walk into the Subway, they had a QR code on a stand-up piece of cardboard for a contest promotion that they were running. But the QR code was about two feet across and it was down at the floor level. So if you wanted to snap that tag with your smartphone, you would have to you know, get on the ground to get a lined up view for your smartphone to be able to read it. So that's an example of what you don't want to do. Is focus on your placement. Don't focus on placement. On the floor or up high. For right, because basically you need to make sure that consumers can look straight on to that QR code with their phone very easily. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be able to snap the tag. So about at a light switch. Light switch is probably about right. Light switch, door handle, that's a great level if you're putting something up in your business. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I see is in print advertising, um, they'll put a QR code that's on the inside by the binding of the magazine or the, the booklet. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times when it goes to the printer, that means it's it's bent and it won't lay flat enough for your smartphone to be able to read it. I know, I've encountered You've that where this. I'm trying to lay it flat and then use my phone at the same time and I can't hold both. And mm -hmm. So it makes it difficult and then I'll just move on. And you just move on. Uh, the other thing that I've seen is uh, Dermalogica actually, a skincare line, did a great job of putting QR codes on every single one of their products. And it was obviously done aftermarket because they put it as a small, tiny sticker on, on the seal of the package. But then what they did is they put a shiny uh, plastic oh, covering that over that. It's just exactly. So you have to watch where you, you put it from a glare perspective. We've done a lot of testing internally here at Elite, and definitely, you know, matte is better than mm -hmm. glossy. So if you can get something that's in a matte uh, layout, then great. It's going to be a lot easier to read. That's why even just printing them out of your printer and putting them on Always things. Test. Always test. Always test it. Creative, have, you have to test. You have to test. So before you before you let it go out, make sure you snap that code. Make sure it goes to what you actually want it to, first of all. Mm -hmm. And make sure that it's uh, usable and easily accessible. So you mentioned some of the good ways that people can yep. use the QR code. Can you talk a little bit about that? So we, I think it's really creative to put them on the back of business cards. Um, to use them, make a little quick video like what we're doing now for an event to introduce yourself, especially with networking. It's hard sometimes to have more than that you know, elevator speech or that 30 second connection. So if you have a QR code that goes more in depth on you, I think it's more engaging and they're gonna remember you. Right, they can bookmark it. They can, they can get bookmark information, it. they can bookmark it and see it later without spending five minutes. Because people wanna go fast when they're networking with so many right. people. I mean, obviously print media, you definitely should be putting your QR codes on. It's a fun thing right now. It's more mm -hmm. of a novelty for people. But I think uh, you know, as the the technology grows and people get more accustomed to it, you know, more and more people are knowing what they are and knowing how to look for them. I love how Home Depot's put QR codes on each of their flowers mm -hmm. or each of their pots so that you know uh, more about whatever that variety is and what to plant it with. So I think if you're adding useful information or doing something um, that you're connecting to that, you know, makes that connection a little bit deeper with the consumer or the prospective client, then you're using it in the right way. And there's one actually at the Wine Lab, I believe, in Costa Mesa, where as you're buying it, it's got a QR code. So if I mm -hmm. want some information on making a purchasing decision, I get information regarding that vineyard or um, just a lot of information right, right there instantly through a video that I it might put me over the edge to buy something that I would never have wanted to try before. So yep. I love seeing QR codes. I think they're very informative as well. Yeah, I think done right, they're really exciting for consumers. Mm -hmm. I think done wrong, they're very frustrating. Yes. So I think if you do it right, then you're, that's great. If you do it wrong, you should just not do it. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. All right, so for QR codes, it sounds like our take is do it right. We yep. got, gave you some great tips. Um, please feel free to add some comments below, some ones that maybe you've seen that are very interesting. We'd love to see them. Yep. All right, thank you.